Hi folks, uh, using up some oil paint from the previous demonstration. <coughs> so, I'm not sure what I'll do. Never am really. So, I'll, uh, I want to paint some sort of little uh, sort of village. So, I'll use this little half inch brush just to, to rough in. This is straight onto watercolour paper. You don't need to know what to do, what paper it is, it's just a watercolour paper, studio paper. It's it's unprimed, it just goes straight on, a lot of oil. But I want to just put in, well, actually, if I do dark, I'll, I'll do a, I'll, I'll go over whatever I put on here. So let's put a I like Norfolk houses that with with the roof sort of coming down on one side further than it does on the other. Okay. Oh, sorry, I'm singing to myself here. Now, painting on paper, watercolor paper, in oil, is very durable. Okay, let's uh, put one here. Right, let's have this. So something like that. Oh, stop whistling. Something like that. I don't want to do too, too elaborate. Right, let's put that to one side. <clears throat> just, that was just old grey. I'm not going to leave it that colour. But I can't paint, or paint a white wall on a white background. So, let's put in a few sort of houses, some, some bit of distance, a bit of, bit of blue, bit of, bit of white, bit of red. Just a little bit of uh, a bit of green in there. So that's a, that's a sort of start, and uh, we'll uh, I work up a sky now. I'm running out of oil. Let's uh, put a little bit left in this bottle here. This is the orchid, medium walnut orchid. Every last bit, and I mix that with a bit of bit of edible walnut oil. I should go further. Uh, it gives a nice sheen anyway. Right, so let's get a bit of sky in there, a bit, bit of blue, a bit of white. The oil will so, soak straight in. Whoops. So soaking straight in. Really good. And the John Constable Turner, they all painted on watercolour paper sketches. And some of the Turner uh, Constable sketches are wonderful. You can use white spirit straight on, but I we used to have demonstration well for in my arts club from by people like Sherry Valentine Danes, who's a very 
well-known British artist now. She sort of made her mark. Fantastic uh, portrait painter, but she does everything. Epsom races, all sorts of stuff. Very impressionist. But I first saw her demonstrating on mount card. You know the stuff you, you this stuff. The stuff you mount your watercolors behind, or oils, oils before they go into glass. And but because um, mount card is wood, wood pulp based, it's not a good idea because the acid in the oil will eat into the wood pulp and eventually undermine it. But watercolor paper, this one's only got thirty percent linen base but it will be durable I'm sure and I'll let that soak in so let's get, get a bit of, bit of landscaping just an underpainting here plenty of viridian in there with the oil yellow ochre right, let's get some get some good tree colours in there let's get some That house is going to be off white. Oh, lovely. That's uh, burnt sienna, ultramarine, and yellow. I'll put some lighter colours over that. Blue, burnt sienna. Winsor and Newton burnt sienna. Because it's got the lovely rich red the other makes don't seem to have that do. So there's just using up of the paint. Right, and also nice nice shadow, so let's get some deeper, a little bit of red, a bit of blue and that initial mix, let's get that. Lovely, lovely. My favourite green. That, that is lovely. So so dark, but uh, that's going to concentrate uh, concentrate the the light in there. I hope. So, but it's still a bit a little bit wet for the moment. So let's get in some sort of meadowy. I'm into meadows at the moment. I've gone up too far though I can change that. All the way across there. Do like simple. So let's just get get some colour in there. Over rough ground here. Right, some light. Oh, this is quite fun. Faster the better. Faster moose. Okay. Right, I go back to the sky now. 
Uh, let's get some using the uh, sienna, I think. Not sienna, the raw yellow ochre. I don't use raw sienna with oil. Cover that quickly. I'll put the blue back. They so paint over what you've done. Just to soften everything. Right, let's have a bit of bit of blending here at the top. Right, let's, let's get these trees back now. I'll use a different brush for the trees. My clips. Reminds me of a scene in France in Carnac. There was this white house with a black roof. It's surrounded by trees. There was a pine tree by nearby. Oh, that's just, uh, Soften. Oh, I'm going to cover that up. It's quite thick paint there now. Shadow in down there.
Right, let's get in some some light coloured bushes here. It's catching a bit of light. Right, I'm just going to put in a bit of a bit of light back in the, some of this here. Just want to put the uh, light back in the trees at the top and the canopy. Soften a bit. Okay. It's a bit of that. Uh, if we go on to the meadow and find a bit, I'll just put in some shadow. In here. Otherwise, I can't. Uh, Put the light grasses in because the counter change won't won't right won't work. Right, so I've got that house. So white, slightly grey. Now I'm going to put some shadow on that. I have to bring some. Uh, oh, I want to walk into that. The blue is not quite right, it needs to be grey, so a bit of a
Vamos ver, nos queda tudo para... Uh, just try and mix up a bit of a uh, ruddy grey. Oh, I guess I'm going to actually... Right, let's get that pan there. That's almost sort of lost in that sky there, but I thought I could put another tree around there. I'd have to do a little bit of that. Right, now I've got to disguise some of that. Uh, when I say disguise, I'm even down here. A light shining on there. Right, okay, now let's go back in that into that meadow. Do I use that brush? I probably, probably have. I'll give it a wash. Okay, so meadow. Ochre, white, not of white, a bit of red, a bit of cage yellow. Light, bit of oil.
Now using watercolour paper is cheap, it's easy to prepare, well you don't, I didn't have to prepare this. Oh, I'll just whack in some of this. Some warm colours in this field. Now what I like to do is to put in some uh, blue and, uh, and some alizarin. A bit of white. A bit of green in there, so touch of yellow, touch of viridian, a bit of white. Now we've got some real light in there. And all the time I'm doing this, I'm thinking of how I can improve other areas, like putting some bits of light blue or blue I just finish this foreground. Right, let's uh, put in some bits on that uh, bin there. Just reducing some of that darkness. Now I think that that roof is just a bit
just take that down just a little bit. Right. Uh, right, I want to just brighten up that those little bits of uh, there. Nearly done. Okay, I'll do that back over. That's all. I'll put a signature on it. Very neat. It's hard to do birds on this. Could be bushes again. Uh, I'm looking for a little nigger which has escaped. Use this one. Right. I have to use my watercolour rigger No, just, they're quite difficult to do when I can't rest on anything. I do with my mild stick. That that one just not right. Oh. Try try another one. No, I'll give up. No, I'll just have to just reinstate that bit of sky there. So easily done.
Okay, well, I, it's a good example of what I had in mind. Let's uh, see if I've got a now to go around. Well, I'll just move the camera back. Easier said than done. Okay, let's let's go. So there we are. Just one another meadow filled with with a barn for old farm buildings, Norfolk farm buildings. Hope you enjoyed that, folks. Thanks for watching. I'm getting hungry now. Bye bye.